I am excited for this video because it has been one of the most requested videos for me to do my everyday makeup routine. But I just wanted to switch things up for this video because there is currently a pandemic going on which has really led us to stay at home, be on quarantine, be locked down and work from our homes. As for me, I have been working from home. I have done interviews from home. I've done guestings from home. I've done photo shoots from home and lots and lots of Zoom meetings. I am pretty sure I am not alone on that. Even if we're working from home, we are still working. And you know, for our meetings, for our guestings, for our interviews, we still want to look presentable. So I'm sure many of you also do their makeups before work for today's video i decided to share with you guys my work from home makeup routine i am going to keep it very light very fresh yet presentable I have washed my face, I have cleansed my face and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead with my moisturizer. I am gonna use this product because it is a priming moisturizer already. So it's two in one and I like it when things are like that. It makes things faster for me. So I'm just gonna put that all over my face. People always say, Massage your face going up to prevent wrinkles and early signs of aging. But I always forget that it's so nice to go in like circles. But okay, let's do it. Let's go up. I always have to put on moisturizer because my skin is dry and it always has to be moisturized. After that, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some lip balm because my lips are also very chapped right now. I'm gonna go ahead with the Indie Lee Lip Treat to repair and protect. I'm just gonna put that. The first step to my makeup routine is concealer. I only use concealer because I don't wanna use anything heavy. Like I said, I wanna keep it fresh, I wanna keep it light. So I'm gonna go ahead with my concealer and my eye candy beauty sponge which i personally love i have the whole set i love it because they have their makeup brush and sponge cleaner that comes with it so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna put it under my eye like that I'm no makeup professional, I'm just doing what works for me. I'm just sharing with you guys how I do it. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and smudge that and you know, just work on my under eyes for now. Right after I do that, I just put a little bit more just to make sure. Just to set that. After my powder, I'm gonna go ahead with this. This is ultimately one of my favorite products from Sansan. So I just showed you guys my little Sansan corner here in my dresser. What I have there in that corner are all my favorite products from the brand. So I really like this product because it has everything 
that I love about makeup. It's the contour, it's the blush, and the highlighter. This is Sans Sans High Definition Face Sculptor. I just want to have, you know, a little more definition, more shadows all over my face. So I'm going to go contour. I'm just gonna put a little all over my face. Like I'm gonna go from here, going down to... Go ahead with my Sand Sand High Definition Glam and Glow Eye and Chic Palette. So there are actually two options. What I usually do is when I'm in a hurry or just want to keep things like really simple, um, what I'll do is with my contour brush and from this palette also, I'm just going to go ahead with the contour and then put it on my eyelid and use it as my eyeshadow. That's what I usually do. just to keep things simple and really quick. But another option is if you have time to do your makeup before a meeting or something, I'll go ahead with the medium. Use my finger for that. And then just dab a bit here. Dab a bit here. Again, you want to keep things light and, you know, still keep it fresh. Right after that, I'm going to go ahead with my blush. Also my favorite from the same palette here and smile. I love putting on blush. I love having rosy cheeks. Sometimes I put too much blush, but it's okay. I just want to be rosy. If you put a little bit too much, what I do is get my brush, my powder brush and just blend, blend, blend. And then one of my favorite things to do is put blush on, on my nose to look sun-kissed, to look like I just came from the beach. Sometimes I put too much also on my nose, but my blush is already reaching my under eyes. That's how much I love blush on. But that's fun. Sometimes I'll put on my chin just for fun. Just to make it more rosy. <laughs> that's just me. You don't have to do it if you don't feel comfortable. Am I lacking anything? I think I should put more blush. And then right after that, I'm going to go ahead with brow conditioner. I don't fill in my brows anymore or sometimes I will if I have like a photo shoot to do. But for like just meetings, I just want to put brow conditioner just to keep my brows in place. I'm just going to brush it. I usually don't fill in my brows anymore because thank you lord they are already thick and then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes for shoots I'll put on mascara but I think for now, I'm not. I really take care of my lashes. I like to keep them thick and long. Because of that, you know, I get to just curl my lashes and not have to put on 
mascara all the time. Although I love that. And then I'm just gonna fix it a bit. Okay, this is the first time I'm gonna be sharing this. When I curl my lashes and I don't feel like putting on mascara because I think, you know, it's just a very casual day and I don't wanna put too much anymore on my face. What I would do is get a lip balm. I'm gonna show you guys. Get a lip balm. Put a little bit on my finger and then put it on my lashes just to keep them up. I don't know if it works, but I just want to believe that it does. So that's what I do when I don't want to put on mascara for the day. I'll just use my lip balm, whatever lip balm I have in my bag. And for one of my favorite parts, lipstick, lip stain, lip gloss, whatever you want. Here are my top two favorites from the brand Samsung. I have posted this before. I absolutely, I absolutely, absolutely love this product from them. This also, Macchiato. I'm just gonna put this right here and then use my finger to evenly spread that around so that's how it looks it's so pretty I'm obsessed with it Ultimately, it is up to you guys if you want to keep it just like this or you want to use lip gloss because you want your lips to look glossy. This is how it looks without the gloss, but I'm going to show you guys also how it looks with lip gloss. And this is how it looks with lip gloss. There it is. My work from home makeup routine. It is very simple, very light, very fresh. Uh, I love doing this. It's still very youthful. This is what works for me. This is what I do. Let me know how you guys do yours. Let me know if you have any questions. That's really basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye!